All right, what's going on YouTube? Um, it's a little snow day here in Pennsylvania. And so I am not going to my normal gym. I'm gonna go to the gym that's at our community development. And uh, it's obviously way more limited than Foundry. Nothing can compare to Foundry, let's be honest. But going over there, getting a workout. And uh, yeah, so it's been a week since I've done a gym vlog. And, you know, just taking some time to rest and really getting a rhythm of content making that makes sense for me. We, uh, we're gonna hit a push day. And um, yeah, this push day is gonna be pretty good, I think. Um, like I said before, I still haven't bought any pre. I ran out of pre. So this is a pre-less workout, but I had a lot of good stuff this morning to fuel at least the pump. So even though I don't have any of those extras, I feel like it'll be a decent push day. Now, I missed my workout yesterday. So I missed my workout on Monday, um, which was not intended, but I just, I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it with all the things that I had on my plate that day. And I, and I stayed up too late on Sunday watching the Super Bowl. So then I, I, um, I took time to then sleep in on Monday. And so I, I just kind of put myself in a, a tough spot, but so we're getting after it on a Tuesday instead. So you won't, you won't see this till probably Wednesday, but we're getting a push day on Tuesday and uh, nothing wrong with that. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. I have been struggling in this second part of the bulk. So I ended my cut probably three weeks ago, which ended up being like four weeks short of when I was supposed to end it just because I had that sickness. And then I kid you not, like the new, so I'm on new medication. I'm on uh, like some ADHD medication because your boy got it bad. And I'm also on some antidepressants. And so both of those together really, really suppress my appetite, which is not good for the bulk, which is not good for building muscle, right? So I'm in the, I'm in the season where I'm trying to figure out like, how do I, how do I keep taking these medications? And how do I also keep eating a lot of food I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to have to like just eat no matter what. Um, but obviously I have to draw it at a healthy, a healthy line, right? Like I have to, you know, feed myself enough food to build even a little bit of muscle. So, you know, if, if I don't hit 3000 calories in a day, which is my goal, okay, that's fine. Hit at least 2,800 or 2,700 and go a little bit above maintenance so that I'm at least building some muscle. It'll take way longer, but you know, progress takes time. And you know, if, if the results I wanna see are 10 years away, that's okay. I'm gonna work my butt off for 10 years to get there. So I'm not worried about it in the long term, but in the short term, it really sucks because I like to eat. So, you know, only having like one meal a day because my appetite is suppressed is not how I normally operate. So. I'm hoping to get back to normal soon. I think I will, but I just got to give time for these meds to kick in and do their thing and let all the side effects go by the wayside because it's, it's important. You know what I mean? Like it's important to like take care of my mental health and be able to, you know, overcome some of the aspects of ADHD that really, really mess with me. So anyway, I'm going on a rant here, but we're going to get to the gym and we're going to set up and we're really going to tackle some aggressive weight today, hopefully. All right, I'll see you there. All right, so like I said before, um, we're at the community gym compared to Foundry. So we're much more limited on what we can do here. So there's no real, like this incline machine is kind of terrible. Um, so you have to play around with the angles a little bit to make sure that you're actually hitting what you want to hit because if you don't play around with it enough, you're accidentally going to just hit all shoulders, even though you're on the incline bench setting or the bench press setting. So we're going to warm up with a couple of these and then we're probably going to do some dumbbell stuff too just to make sure that we can like adequately work the chest we're going to warm up with just this bench press um, in a little bit of a different grip and then we're going to go from there so let's get a nice warm-up set two three four so surprisingly not a bad stretch on this where it's at right now so feeling good about that i think that's going to be i don't know a difference maker at least. Oh yeah, that's surprisingly going to be a good pump. So one of the things that's going to be interesting is that I, I won't have to work on as much in post is music because 
as you can tell in the background, there's no music or compared to Foundry. It's bumping. So, I mean, we like bumping music, don't get me wrong. But it'll be nice not have to, to edit the levels of the audio. We will get to a working load and probably do two sets till failure. And the nice thing about the machine is you can really go to failure, right? Like, same thing with Smith machine, same thing with any incline or bench press machine. You can push it till failure um, without a spotter and without a lot of risk of injury, which is huge. Um, because if you're looking to progress over time, you need to be as healthy as you can be, as fresh as you can be. That's why rest, recovery, very important. First set, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's feeling heavy today. All right, we'll do a drop set because you need to squeeze out some more reps there. So I got a fun little update for you guys. I'm gonna be getting my first tattoo uh, sometime in like the next two weeks, um, beginning of March. I'm very excited. I think I'm between, I'm between two spots. I'm between like the leg to start or back of the tricep on my right arm. So eventually I wanna have like a full leg sleeve from like high thigh all the way down to the ankle. I think that'd be amazing. So I kind of want to get started on that now, but then also the concept that I'm playing around with is it would look really cool on the back of the tricep. So I want to get like two sparrows that represent myself and Kaylee and sparrows are known for protection, but there's also a biblical aspect to it where if God protects the sparrows and looks after them, how much more is he gonna look after us, right? So that kind of reminder. But then also, I wanna get uh, my son's footprints when he was a newborn tattooed as well. So I wanna kind of have him in the same area, but the hard part is the sparrows are gonna be like American traditional black and white. I don't know how that's gonna fit in with the, 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 his feet. I don't know if that's gonna be able to be swung, so we'll see, but I'm really excited for it. So. I'm, I'm torn because it's gonna be either focusing on getting the leg sleeve done and getting that started or that, uh, that tricep piece back there. So, yeah, I don't know. If you have a preference, drop in the comments which one you think I should do. But um, man, I, I don't know. There's something really cool about a leg sleeve that is just, I don't know. Like, and it's hidden with pants until like you're in shorts for the summer and all of a sudden you're like, you got a leg sleeve? I just think that's really cool but it's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of time spent and a lot of money spent probably at the end of those tattoos. So it's gonna be like 20 years probably before I complete it, but that'll give me plenty of time to really work out the concepts that I want. I'm gonna go back up and wait. Uh, go a little bit higher. Once again, just trying to focus on time under tension and trying to focus on just getting big weight up and uh, we'll do another drop set, probably three drop sets here since the weight's a little higher, so. And I found that these grips are way helpful compared to the other ones. I, I get a deeper stretch and they don't hurt my wrists as much, so we'll keep doing these uh, skinny grips.
I'm not even counting. I'm just going until I can't go anymore. That's how you build. Three drop sets. I think we're gonna do another set though. Three total for chest, because since we don't have a cable fly, it is going to be a lot harder to achieve that pump in my opinion. All right, so I totally forgot that I was gonna do bicep curls with my chest, chest movements here, so. I'm gonna try to squeeze that in, which I don't wanna do now. Drop down just a tad, come on. Uh, I feel a ton of tension in the triceps too with this. Like at the top end when I get that squeeze, I can feel just bursts going through the triceps. All right, come on. three more there.
Steps here. Moving right on. It's not gonna be fun. Ooh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Third round out of five for biceps. We're about to start the third round. And, um, and then from there, triceps. And who knows, I might, I might superset that with more bicep curls um, just to really make them fall off the bone. Because I want huge arms. So, all right, let's do it. Number three. Number four out of five, and I'm gonna skip the fifth one on video anyway, uh, just because you guys get the gist. Push till failure, or at least push to get to 100 <laughs> for these, because we're gonna be doing more later. So. <sighs> So I decided that just because there's no pec deck machine, I will do chest flies with a dumbbell. So I'm using 20s, nothing too heavy, but I feel like I couldn't really go heavy on these if I wanted to just because of the control aspect. So we're going to get maybe a kill set of these in and see how we're doing pump wise. Ugh. 
Whew, heavier than I thought, so we're gonna do another set. Whew. All right, so I just checked the, the film on the back one on that last video, and you couldn't see half of it, but it's still gonna be there anyway because I'm not a perfectionist. So we're gonna do another set, try to get to 15 again, which I think will be very difficult just because this movement is not a strong point for me when it's not on pec deck. So really gotta work on this control here. All right. <sighs> <sighs> So unfortunately, the cable machines here at the development gym are cheeks. So it's all kind of out of whack. So we're gonna just try to put up some good weight, but something that we can really just get a solid pump with for triceps. So we're gonna be doing that um, tricep drop set. Man, all I can think about is food right now. I told you about how my appetite wasn't there, but now I'm, I'm hungry. Um, so I'm gonna eat like a ton of chicken, chicken breast from Costco, not chicken breast, chicken nuggets from Costco. They're like the, they're like 16 grams of protein per like a serving size. And I usually have like five serving sizes. And so it's a really good amount of protein. So if you're interested in something that's easy to eat, that goes with anything, check out the, the Costco chicken nugget breaded things. They're like comparable to the like Chick-fil-A nuggets. Game changer. Three, four, five, six, 15. Man, the cable's so messed up that there's a sticking point. I could probably, I probably have to lower the weight for the next one. One. posted a, a video yesterday, not a video, um, like a story on my Instagram yesterday that really highlighted the difference that my body has gone through, the change that my body has gone through for the better from 19 years old to now 28 years old. And it was really cool to just see the progress. You know, like we, well, I'm not gonna speak for you, but I'll speak for me. You know, I, I struggle with that instant gratification aspect. Like I just want it tomorrow you know if i set my sight on a goal i want to accomplish it as quickly as i possibly can and in high school when i lifted for sports i wasn't really looking to get bigger but i always struggled with that because i wanted to get bigger and then in college i really saw my my fitness and my health explode and i just saw myself put on muscle now still i was pretty lanky pretty skinny i mean i had abs but it was easy to get abs because i was a skinny guy and now, you know, nine years later from 19 years old, starting college to now 28, man, it is, it's just a, a huge difference where, and, and obviously a lot of that comes from just like maturing and growing and metabolism, you know, slowing down a little bit so I was able to put on more. But I mean, it's just a night and day difference. I mean, my arms were probably eight, nine inches around, something like that. And now they're 12, 13, probably 13, which, you might sit there and think, well, that's not a lot of growth. But for me, that's a lot of growth. Um, and the goal is to get to 15 eventually, you know, as I continue to work, um, just work all the different muscle groups. So um, long story short, wherever you're at right now, think about where you're going to be in 10 years from now if you just stay consistent. Um, if you're more consistent than I even was, then you were going to grow so much quicker. But 
if you're just even baseline consistent for a season, you will see so much growth. It just takes time. So that's what I'm hoping with for these arms, man. I'm trying to blow them up. So I got one more set of these tricep drop sets. So I'm gonna skip those on video and then we'll jump over to rear delt cable fly. Get that capped look that we're trying to get. Since this cable is so finicky, I'm going to, I did, attach a handle to this. Um, I think it'll make it a little bit tougher, um, so I won't be able to squeeze out as many reps, but I'm going to kind of go to that backside portion to see if I can get a better stretch. Not that I didn't feel it on the last one, but I just want to feel it more. So, let's see what we can do. I think I got one more set of these and 
then I might try to hit, you know, one shoulder lift besides this. One shoulder lift and then call it a day and walk back to the house. Um, I don't think I'm going to do legs today because, I mean, there's not a lot of equipment here to actually do legs. I could do split squats or lunges, but one, I'm running out of time. Two, I'll just prioritize some good leg training on Wednesday and Friday. So, yeah, we don't get to do legs today, which is awesome. The question that I've been pondering lately is what would you do if you couldn't fail? I actually uh, uploaded um, a YouTube short where some of you actually might have found this channel through YouTube short, so glad that you're here. But um, I've really been kind of sitting on this question for probably about two weeks now. Um, what would I do if I couldn't fail? Like if I couldn't fail, what would I try to do? What would, what would make me happy? What would make me fulfilled? Um, and so obviously my job now um, as pastor, I feel fulfilled in that. I feel called to that. I feel purpose in that. So that, that's nothing that needs to be tweaked or changed. But really in this, in this world of content creation, I noticed that that was one of the things that I would do if I couldn't fail. Not for fame, not for notoriety, not even for money. I just, I feel like that I have something worth sharing and I want to get that across through video to reach as many people as possible or as many as pe many people it's supposed to reach, right? So if that's the 15 of you that are subscribers right now or that's 1,500 five years from now, whatever it is, like I want to be genuinely focused on passing something along worth value. I want to give knowledge away. I want to give wisdom away. I'm not the wisest person in the world. I will admit that first, but I want to be able to give it away. So with that being said, we're going to do one more rear delt fly situation here. And then I think we're going to go on to the shoulder press machine and then we're going to call it a day. So let's get after this last one. <coughs> We got this geared up for shoulder. Um, I'll probably do two sets till failure and then call it a day. down your equipment we are done we're going home i did not do a pump check or a pose down because it was just me and like one other girl in there and in the middle of this development i thought it was kind of weird to just take my shirt off and start flexing so like i said i'm dropping wisdom 
don't do that. So anyway, all right, so we're headed home. Uh, I'm gonna eat probably 500 grams of those Costco chicken nuggets like I was talking about. Probably drizzle 30 grams of hot honey on them because that's my preferred sauce of choice. I can't get enough of hot honey. So yeah, I'm hoping to be pretty full after that. And then dinner tonight, we're doing breakfast for dinner. And that's always fun because I like destroying half a carton, if not a carton of eggs. So we'll do that. Also, sorry if I look really strange right now. It, it's snowy and sunny. So that means that you can't, you can't, um, can't really see. You're blinded by the light. I, I went to the, I went to this workout in the middle of the day. Um, kind of like over my lunch break-ish. So since I'm not in the office today, it was easier to swing in and get a lift. So I am very glad that I could just walk to the gym when I need to, if I am in a pinch. And so that worked out really well for me today. And uh, tomorrow morning, gonna get up bright and early, lift with Aiden, gonna get a, uh, get a pool day in tomorrow and uh, really just try to thoroughly create that Dorito back that I've been talking about so often. So, all right, this has been a fun one. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let the algorithm know that you actually enjoy this content. Don't be one of the people that watches, doesn't like, doesn't comment, doesn't subscribe. Dislike it. If you don't like it, dislike it. I don't care. Any engagement's good engagement, right? All right, I will see you guys later. Peace.